the entrepreneur is going to be the key. That is always the key everywhere in the world to continuing job growth. And so for me, the more the countries in Latin America can do to support entrepreneurship, the better. From our perspective, number one, that is promoting an open economy, no protectionism. Number two, it's making sure that the society overall doesn't overpenalize failure. Many societies put a, a, a lot of, of negativism to risk taking. There could be tax policies that discourage uh, risk taking. There could be legal systems. There could be just a culture that penalizes failure. That will dampen entrepreneurship. I think the third thing is to make sure that you've got a tax policy that promotes research and development, that promotes capital formation. Fourth, I'd say, is making sure that you have the financing in place. Venture financing, bank financing, capital market financing. And finally, it's making sure that the regulatory environment is streamlined. Nothing discourages the entrepreneur more than having to get hundreds or even thousands of permits to open a business or open a plant. Well, the region itself has been viewed very positively by international investors in the recent past, and I think to continue that, there are a few things that the region ought to consider. One is making sure that across the region, there's a strong embracing of global standards of governance, transparency, even accounting and financial reporting. I think second is to make sure that across the region, tax policies are stable and predictable so that both companies and individuals can know how they will be treated. Of course, you have to have stability and, and fairness in the rule of law. You have to have strong financial institutions. And then very importantly, you have to have administrative reform that reduces the number of, of permits and, and other barriers to capital formation. Uh, again, nothing will, uh, will deter international confidence more than uh, a very difficult environment to work in. I think the story in Latin America has been extremely positive. I think one of the things to encourage that positive momentum to continue will be for the countries in the region to continue working together. One of the things we've seen during the crisis is just how positive things are when countries coordinate and cooperate. Uh, we saw that very heavily during the crisis itself, whether it was ideas around capital or liquidity in the banks, whether it was fiscal stimulus, there was a level of coordination that was very positive. What I worry about is as coordinated as the countries were during the crisis, if they don't stay coordinated in the recovery, you could see people going it alone. That will not be good for the recovery.